Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wednesday here on The Pagan Perspective. I'm your host, Eric. This week, we are talking about your hair. So this week we are talking about, and I'm sorry I don't have the name of the person who suggested this topic, but this week we are talking about growing out your hair for spirituality purposes and for uh, and and or religious purposes. The first thing I want to talk to talk to you guys about is I know that I have some of the more extreme hair on the pagan perspective when we're talking about the beard. I uh, I don't leave my hair long because it looks terrible. I grow my beard long specifically because I like it. Uh, it's one of those things where I decided at one point that yes, I did want to look a little more Viking and kind of went with it and I liked it. So I kept it and I do occasionally cut my hair off because this in lies in, in lies the, the comment of what I have to say about growing out your hair for spirituality. It does nothing for me. Uh, when when you're talking about for spiritual purposes, the beard and the growing out of hair, for me, is very much similar to the idea of putting on robes for ritual. I do have ritual robes, and I have certain things that I like to wear in ritual. I also like having a beard because it makes me feel more natural and more down to earth. It also makes it so I get to be really, really lazy when it comes to taking care of my hair. I don't think it makes me feel more spiritual in in ritual, but I do appreciate that I look a little more the part during ritual when I when when my beard is full and long and, and I get to play with it. That's another thing is I guess there are times when I am thinking to myself and it does it does calm me and give me something to do with my hands other than fidgeting with other things. I, I, I get to play with my beard. It's kind of nice. But when it comes right down to it, the idea of uh, Samson and his power coming from his hair, I don't believe a word of that because I just don't. I never have. I've used it as an excuse to my parents to grow my hair out long when I was a teenager, but that's just because I was that kind of teenager. Uh, since then, I've decided that I do look kind of terrible with long hair, and you guys will just have to take my word for it. But when it comes, when it comes to having uh, growing out your hair for ritual purpose or for spiritual purpose, I think if it does something for you, please, by all means, go for it. The only thing I would say is make sure that you can get away with it in your place of business or in the uh, social situations that you find yourself in on a regular basis because although, although the workplace is a little more relaxed nowadays than it was, say, 20 years ago, there are still places that are going to look down on you for having a beard with, you know, a, more than a little length and and or hair that is, you know, past the collar in some places. So, you know, take into account as long as it's not going to adversely affect you in your day-to-day -day life, feel free to go absolutely crazy. I just, uh, I have to say, patience is the key if you're going to be growing out your beard. So... Uh, if you have any more specific questions about growing out your hair or what I think about it in ritual or anything like that, feel free to post those comments or questions in the comment section below. I'll get to them, you know, over the course of the next week or so uh, as often as I can and, and as soon as possible. But um, other than that, thanks for watching, everybody. And, of course, until next time, Odin be with you.